Well, as you can see, it's very cold. Um, it's turned really cold the last few days. We're at Westwood Lakes near Boston, uh, and I'm fishing punch bread, two discs of 10 mil. As you can see, I've punched out with the U-Matrix bread punches, the 10 mil. I've punched some disc out, discs out already. I'm just putting two discs onto the pin. Sliding them on, just pulling it a little stop, a little quick stop on there. And they float, so when the lead hits the bottom, they float up. They're 12 inches off the bottom. They are again. Just tighten up slightly on it so the line sinks. Leaving it not right tight up, just, just a slight tension on there. And then it'll either drop back or they'll just wick it straight round. I'm expecting that to go around in about the next 10 seconds. When it does turn cold and they turn to the bread, it's amazing how quick you can catch fish or where you won't get a bite on any other baits. Yeah. There we go, as quick as that. What's that, probably 10, 12 seconds. That's took it straight away. I think they just see the bait there, just sort of 12 inches above the water, just they find it irresistible. There's so many carp there that they think if I don't take it, he will. But I could chuck a feeder out there with a pellet, maggot on, and I probably wouldn't get a bite. This little rise on carp feeder is really a soft rod. It takes every lunge of the carp. It's only sun lunges. I've got the clutch set on the reel. And any real sun lunges, the rod just takes it out like then. It just went and the rod took it straight out. common two to three pound there we are another little common so I'm using the 10 mil uh, matrix punch there when I'm punching out the discs but there's a set of four four six eight and ten um, but what you'll find sometimes I've fished venues and I've fished the discs on the pole as well that you might not get a bite on a 10 mil but put a six mil or even a formula smaller piece and you'll catch it's amazing just the difference in the size of punch as I bet most of you have found out when you've been fishing uh, pellets expander pellets you might not get a bite on a six mil expander but you do on a four mil and the same principle works with bread with fishing discs so if you're not catching just try a smaller piece it's worth it just keep trying different sizes different days obviously it's very important though that the bread does float up it's no good if it sinks to the bottom, it must be buoyant. That's what they like. Two little bits like that. There goes a little indication straight away again. There we go, on again. Really is an exciting way to fish. Just trying to keep them away from the islands, and then once you get them in the open water, no chance of them snagging up anywhere. Yeah, a little bit better fish. A little bit more lethargic they are as the water chills down. Another reaction in the rod. Real soft, forgiving rods these are. There we are. Another nice carp. Probably about four pen on this one. Maybe a little bit more. Just get the hook out. Look at that on a couple of disc of bread. What a beautiful fish. Absolutely stunning, probably five pound. Well, there's my rig. I've got 018 pound micron, so on a size 14 barbless hooks, little quick stop on the end to retain the bread. Free range, so I can change. I've got a 30 gram matrix straight lead on there to a quick change bead. Very simple. When the lead lands, because the, the bread's floating, it comes above the bottom, suspended, and the fish just find it irresistible. You can alter that distance between the lead and the hook. You can have probably six inches, but normally about 12 inches is about right um, in the deeper water. 
and the fish just find it irresistible and just the bites are awesome as you've just seen. Obviously um, fishing normal venues can have up to 12 inches of a hook length off bottom but I do carry longer ones if it's a lot deeper the water maybe even up to a metre so you can come even further off the bottom because a lot of the carp boys when they're fishing these zig rigs that are coming right off the bottom in deep water for big carp and it's the same with the smaller carp in the masses that we fish for come winter time you might have a a swim that might be 10 or 12 foot deep, some of these lakes, then you can come a metre off the bottom and you'll catch them, as opposed to sometimes you'll catch them on the pole, in five, six foot of water, you'll catch them two foot deep on bread. So it's the same principle where you're coming up off the bottom on a straight lead with um, floating discs of bread, as opposed to if you're fishing on the pole. So it's worth carrying some deeper rigs if you draw a deeper, or some longer hook lengths up to a metre, if you draw a deeper peg, and it's worth a go, if you're not catching on a shorter one. I'm chucking virtually the same area each time off that island going in but also if the bites start to dry up it's worth just chucking about because the fish might move. I could chuck over to this island or over to the next island or come a bit nearer more in the open water. It's just where the fish want to be but you land it where they are. They cannot resist taking the bread as it gets cold. It's an incredible method to fish, it really is. But at the moment they just seem to be out there and it's just one to chuck. Make sure the line sunk under the water, not too tight, and just looking for the next indication. Then we get a little tap and they just take it straight round. There's no messing with it. You see how effective bread can be in the winter, catching beauties like this, give it a go, it's absolutely an exciting way to fish.